All right, for this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to light a large room. In this particular situation, we are lighting a kitchen with a living room off to the back. So we did actually run with lights on in this situation. A lot of times I'll run with, I like to shoot with lights off because I don't like any, dealing with any color casts and those tungsten lightings that typically come with interior light fixtures but in this situation the lights were very close to daylight temperature so it didn't bother me and even maybe would have helped me but I still lit this as if the lights were off and I'm going to show you how to do it so let's get in the light room right now all right so as you can see right here we're looking at the ambient layer we have a nice beautiful kitchen with these dark cabinets but we have all the light fixtures on which is okay and we have uh, a living room around the corner over here with a staircase right here I'm gonna show you how to light this completely even using only one flash and I use that Godox 8600 I love that flash I like to have uh, the power when I need it so that's why I use that flash alright here is the flash pop above the camera and I typically recommend every single um, flambient photo that you're going to do is going to be that ambient layer if you have enough ambient light in some bathrooms i'll shut the light off and just do one flash pop and that's it i don't even care about ambient light i don't turn lights on typically if i can help it so this is what that flash pop above the camera looks like it's lighting it pretty nicely what it's doing is it's toning down my blooming that you will get from that ambient layer with those uh, can lights and other light fixtures not too bad on these ones but you can see they're overexposed which is fine remember with your ambient layer with all your layers even with your flash pop layers you want to make sure that you're exposing just right of center but again watching that you're not clipping the highlights and for your flash layers especially for those window views making sure you're not blowing those windows out making sure you have your shutter speed high enough your aperture high enough to where you're not getting into high speed sync situations whatever that would be for your camera uh, shutter speed but that you're still able to see like you're not blowing out any in the window view if you want to have that window view that's it and then you just do your flash pops to bring back in that light all right so here we are I'm gonna start doing my left and right composite so this flash pop here there was a wall right here and I'm kind of angling right at, uh, at the corner of the ceiling and the wall to push that light back in and then I move over to the other side to do the same thing now I've already done my preset bumps on this watch my other tutorials on why I recommend you doing an initial bump initial preset and creating a preset just use this little plus sign right here super self-explanatory but I have tutorials on that all right let's move on so in this situation I did run up the stairs and light the stairwell maybe uh, maybe I'll use it maybe I won't we'll see how that blends in and then the uh, living room over there I blended that and I'm gonna show you a really awesome simple way to blend all these images together but the other thing you want to watch for is glare that starts to hit when you start doing these multiple flash pops just to make sure that you have repair layers for those so it probably would be this shot right here that I'd be able to fix that glare that was caused from the flash inside that living room right there so a lot of things to remember I know but once you get familiar with all this stuff and making sure that you're recognizing these things it'll become quicker and easier so we're gonna click on this one we're gonna hold down shift hold, uh, click on that to highlight them all and we're gonna right click and edit in open as layers in Photoshop all right we have all the layers have been loaded up now into Photoshop now the one thing you want to do first off is to make sure you select them all by clicking on the top one coming down here to the bottom one holding down shift click on that that'll select them all for you come up here to edit auto align and then hit OK this is just in case maybe you bump the tripod or when you were turning the trigger on or adjusting any settings that we are going to get all these images aligned so when you do start blending them together there's no ghosting so what the first thing we need to do is we need to blend in our our two flash shots so we're gonna shut off the ambient layer and we're gonna shut off the uh, flash pop above the camera layer now we can work on these two blending them together watch this we're just gonna click on that first one layer mask command I to invert it use the gradient tools right here we're gonna click in front of our hot spot right here let me just pull and drag there we go look at that we just blended ourselves out nice even blend now what we can do is turn that layer back on the flash pop above the camera but let's turn that to lighten mode what that's gonna do is just give you the brightest parts of that scene and that's what it did it is just blending back in the the brightest parts of it now notice right here 
If we toggle that off, yep. We have to make sure we blend out that, our flash pop, um on the microwave glare but we should be able to do that with the ambient layer yes okay so again just being mindful of what uh, layers you can repair other layers with is going to help you a lot all right so now we have to come down here the second to the last one right here is our staircase shot and then our dining room shot we got to get those blended first before we start blending back in the ambient layer so let's just hold that and drag that just underneath the ambient layer like that and we're gonna turn that to lighten mode as well and if we toggle that on and off you can see I don't know as if it really did enough and so what you know what this is where the decision needs to be made actually yeah we're just gonna leave it off and we're not gonna use it so we can bring this one all the way back down to the bottom just to kinda of discard it but we won't totally delete it just in case we need it for something but let's bring up our dining room shot Okay, or living room actually, I'm sorry, that's a living room. And turn that to lighten mode. All right, so if we toggle that on and off, look at that, it just turned the light on for us, but it caused some glare right here. So what we can do is create a layer mask, don't invert it, make sure black is selected. Let's take our brush tool, and I'm using my left bracket to make that smaller, and I'm just gonna sit here and paint out that glare. Because the layer underneath did not have that glare we were able to fix that and let's see if we're able to paint that it nope that's not we're gonna have to fix that with the ambient layer so let's do that so here's a good tip that I like to use sometimes with the ambient layer when it works is dropping that ambient layer to 50% or whatever percentage looks the best a lot of times you don't need a 50 50 blend with the ambient layer you just need maybe a 20% blend so but this particular situation looks really good at 50% and we're going to do a just actually you know what we do need to brush in that ambient layer because we need to get a hundred percent of that glare out of there so let's do this let's just create a layer mask command I to invert make sure white is selected let's take our brush tool with the right bracket make it a little bit bigger and now we can just start feathering out the glare that was coming through through that flash layer and get that out of there and remove ourselves out of there and we'll make that bigger brush in some more ambient possibly over here get some more natural glow going you know I don't want to do too much otherwise it would defeat the purpose of even running around and doing all those flash pops we want to try to keep the color even and keep that bloom out of those can lights so I'm painting right now I'm painting back in the the flash from the ceiling for the ceiling layer all right that looks good let's hold uh, select the bottom one here we can right click come down here to flatten image and hit okay because we didn't need that other layer that's why it's asking us if we discard the um, unwanted layers and we said yes all right so we do have a lot of color casting going on I'm gonna show you a quick way to fix that as opposed to using luminosity mode because when dark cabinets like this luminosity mode would just start to discolor those and I just never use it for this situation but what we can do is command J to duplicate this layer we're gonna come up here to filter and then blur and then average and I show this in almost all my tutorials because I use it in almost every single every single image to get just to make sure I get correct color pulls out a lot of color casts. now we are going to choose the curves adjustment layer and selecting the middle eyedropper right here and click anywhere in the image because if you hover over the the middle eyedropper it says sample in image to set gray point so we're just gonna set the gray point just like that what it did was it dropped the reds and lifted the blues a little bit so if we toggle this first layer off we are gonna be able to toggle this on and off and it did eliminate a lot of that it just lifted the blues probably a little bit too too much for my taste but the darkness here is that Leia was 7.5 millimeter that vignettes a little bit too much for my taste I'm gonna probably stop using it um, for a lot of my shoots unless I absolutely need that wide of a shot but I'm also using the Olympus 9 to 18 millimeter which even 9 millimeters 18 millimeter full frame equivalent is still plenty wide enough for most shots all right so we can take if you if you find that it pushed it too much just take your opacity slider and drop that down a little bit I'm like 60% here so if we toggle that on and off it definitely lifted it and got rid of a lot of that red casting that was coming through on these cabinets and that's another thing you gotta be careful of when you're using flash and you're doing all these different composites that you are gonna get color casts from the other 
objects in the scene, whatever that may be. In this case, these were a red hue on these cabinets. That's going to throw red into the scene, but like you just saw, we were able to fix that. All right, so we're just going to flatten this image, and we're going to hit OK, and we're going to Command S to save it, and let's get it back into Lightroom. Now, I'm going to do my interior final bump on this, and I don't know if I'm going to crop this. Let's crop it a little bit get some of that ceiling out of there we can pull that down and let's just uncheck that that looks really good to me all right there you go folks make sure you leave a comment if you have any questions on any of this stuff that i went over make sure to hit that subscribe button i'm releasing tutorials all the time thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video